everybody, Lawman Mike with Lawman Guitars. That's www.lawmanguitars.com. Now, you know, we always have really cool guitars for you here on our website. This one is no exception. What I have for you today is a beautiful 1967 Gretsch Viking. Now, the Viking is just gorgeous. When I opened the case, I couldn't believe how striking this looks. Very, very few of any dings or scratches that I could see. The only thing that was wrong with it is the original pick guard had a crack in it. I had Jeff the Tech do his magic to it, and he fixed it. You can still see the crack, but it is strong as it can be, and it won't break there ever again. Now, there's something I want to tell you about the uh, mid-1960s Gretsch guitars. They used what was called the tuning fork bridge system. Now, most of the 60s uh, guitars that came with that, you're not going to see those on the guitars. Most of the guitar players that got them really didn't understand how to set them up, how to make them work, and they just got frustrated, took them off, and you never saw them again. So you'll probably see these things floating around on eBay once in a while. Those went to the 1967 and 68 Gretsch guitars. Now, what this bridge system does is this little bridge thing sits inside a hole that lines up inside the guitar and points back just a little bit. Now the strings wind through that, so your intonation is set here. And what happens is as you strum the guitar, it picks up different vibrations and runs them back through the body of the guitar, back into the pickups, and gives you a really pretty different sound from not having this. Now, I, when I first got it, this was not installed, so I can tell you I heard it before, I heard it after Jeff the Tech got it all set up, and uh, it's different. I can't tell you it's greater, it's like the most unbelievable thing I've ever heard. No, I can't say that. However, this one is totally here. Everything that belongs on this guitar is here. He uh, did take the uh, mute, which does work, doesn't work great, but it does work, and put a little extra felt on it so that it'll uh, mute your strings for you. But this uh, tuning fork system is very unique. You don't see it any, anymore. And uh, what you need to do is remember, if you do get this guitar, change one string at a time. If you take all the strings off you're going to be sitting here going now what do I do so take one string off at a time you thread them through very carefully on an angle then bring them around tighten it up and then go on to the next string so it's all set up it's got uh, the uh, uh, Gretsch Bixby on it also in gold it's got the original bridge it's got all the original knobs it's got original uh, Gretsch pickups it's even got the beautiful uh, back uh, pad which uh, is uh, just these are always deteriorated or, or a mess or gone. This one is in absolutely beautiful shape. Now, the other thing that you find usually in these Gretsch guitars is what's called binding rot. Now, I don't know why Gretsches were famous for this, but a lot of them, whenever you'd get the guitars, you'd open the case and you could smell it because uh, they're a nitrocellulose product. Uh, but this one, uh, it must have had plenty of air and didn't sit in the case all the time because I have to tell you, the binding on this guitar looks like it just came out of the factory. It's absolutely beautiful, which you don't see on mid-60s Gretsch guitars. So it's really, really nice. Um, it took me a while to figure out how all the knobs work. These two knobs here are volume controls for the two um, pickups. You've got a, a kill switch back here, which uh, in the middle position, it's off. Up in here is the pickup selector on the uh, on the bridge pickup and all that this knob does here is act as a tone uh, cut so there's your bass there's your treble there's your bass again so that's how the knobs work and uh, it's very different from a, a Gibson but you'll get used to it very quickly so anyway the pickups sound great <laughs> that's the uh, bridge pickup pickups together and just beautiful tone from this neck pickup I could play on this one all night So an absolutely beautiful guitar. Jeff the Tech, like I said, set it up. It's perfect, perfect uh, intonation. It's a beautiful guitar to play, very low action. Your fingers are not going to get sore playing this guitar. We uh, strung it up with 11s. It likes just a little bit more tension on the neck. Uh, remember these guitars in the 60s came with like 12s and 13s. So uh, if you start putting 10s on them, they're, they're not going to like it real well. But I do have 11s on it. They bend well. Uh, if you haven't used 10s before, try them. You like them. So it's really great to have all this stuff on, uh, on this guitar. But uh, what's even better 
is, as you know, we try to have original cases with our guitars, and this one is no exception. I couldn't believe it when I walked in the shop and saw this. I thought this was a brand new case. Uh, it's an old, uh, original uh, Viking case. Uh, it's the gray with the silver uh, threading through it uh, with the gold hardware. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, the burgundy interior is beautiful. All the hinges work. The, uh, uh, the top uh, strap is still there. The uh, accessory box is here. Uh, there's just, it's absolutely beautiful. It's every bit as nice as the guitar is. So uh, what you're going to get here is you're going to get an absolutely beautiful 1967 Gretsch guitar and a beautiful case to go with it. Set up perfectly. If you don't like the uh, tuning fork system, take it off. You just, uh, uh, you can read on, uh, on uh, Google how to, how to set it up without it, but try it first, please. I think you'll really, really like it. It's a very unique guitar with that. It's beautiful. It's set up great. Sounds wonderful. Uh, and you can get it here. There's no messing around. If you like it, just uh, hit the PayPal button and uh, I send you the guitar. So check it and all the guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. Love to see you come check out our shop. Thanks a lot. Thank you.